Hey guys, uh, today's video is going to be another one about Hannibal. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video today and trying to get it posted out is because today is Hannibal Day. It is June 4th, 2015, which means tonight, 10 9 Central on NBC, Hannibal Season 3 is going to premiere, which is totally awesome and I have been waiting over a fucking year for this. It better be fucking good. Get that out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys my Hannibal Lecter collection. It's also probably going to be my Mess Mickelson collection, which is pretty hefty in itself, but I'm trying to stick to just Thomas Harris, Hannibal Lecter. Now, to start that off, I'm going to go with the books. Now, these are my hardcover collection of the books. This is the first edition hardcover Red Dragon. Yep, it's, it's pretty awesome. I actually found it at Goodwill. Which was the greatest Goodwill find ever. I almost like fainted in the store when I found it. And this is Red Dragon, the book club edition. I don't know if you can tell the difference between them. I know they look about the same, but there is a difference. See the difference in color? And um, the book club edition, it actually says it at the bottom. Book club edition. So it's, it's slightly different than the first edition. And I'm anal enough to have both. Um, then this is the first edition hardcover of The Silence of the Lambs, with Thomas Harris on the back again. First edition hardcover of Hannibal, which is my favorite book in the series, just FYI if you wanted to know. And hardcover first edition of Hannibal Rising. Yes, I love every single Hannibal book. Fuck you, people who judge Hannibal Rising without reading or watching the movie. Like, seriously, go fuck yourself. Now this is my paperback collection of the Hannibal books, starting with Black Sunday, which is not actually a Hannibal book, but this was Thomas Harris's first novel and the only non-Hannibal Lecter book he's ever written. Fun fact. It's actually about um, a terror plot that happens in New Orleans when New Orleans hosts the Super Bowl right before they opened the Superdome, which is just really cool for me because I'm from New Orleans and it's, I don't know, I'm a nerd and I was excited. Um, this is Red Dragon. It's a uh, one of the new. It's a uh, the Penguin Books version. Silence of the Lambs movie cover edition, which I like. I think it's kind of snazzy. Yeah. And this is the more modern paperback of the Silence of the Lambs. It's got Anthony Hopkins Lecter, except he's got these kind of like, you know, shadowy eyes. Um, this is the movie cover version of Hannibal, which is my, one of my favorite versions of the book because pimp-ass fedora lector, who doesn't fucking love that shit? Yeah. Um, the traditional, um, mass market paperback of Hannibal and the mass market paperback version of Hannibal Rising, which has Gaspar Yulil on it, who's adorable, cute little baby lector. I love him. Now that we've moved on from the books, I'm going to go to my VHS collection. Yeah! VHS collection. Manhunter on VHS. Silence of the Lambs with the uh, Oscar sticker. Hannibal. And the last Lecter film to be released on VHS, Red Dragon. This was a bitch to find. It took me, like, several years. And I finally actually found it when I was, um... I wasn't even looking for it. I, w I was uh, on vacation. And I happened to stop at a Goodwill. And, and then I'm gonna move on to the DVDs and the Blu-rays. Manhunter on DVD. This is actually a really hard copy to find. They It doesn't seem to be... I think it's out of print. It's from, um, 2000, and it actually has some pretty awesome bonus features. I, I enjoy this copy a lot. It's, um, one of the reasons I've been hesitant to upgrade to Blu-ray, just because I really like that version of Manhunter. Um, this is the new, uh, little special edition version of Silence of the Lambs from Best Buy. It's the legit Best Buy version my friend got for me. It's an awesome little Blu-ray. I love the disc. Who Hannibal is not that you. It's pretty cool. Um, now this is just an old school tube pack that I bought years ago, um, Silent Hill Lambs and Hannibal, because I needed it on DVD so I could actually watch it, because I don't have a VHS player anymore. Red Dragon, Hannibal Rising, and then we're going to touch into modern day 
seasons one and two of NBC's Hannibal on Blu-ray. Next, I'm gonna go to my clothing collection. Yeah, I have a clothing collection of Hannibal Lecter, guys, because I'm ridiculous. Now, this is my favorite. This was a present to myself about Christmas two years ago. It's a Silence of the Lambs hoodie. It's hand-stitched. It has the dust head moth. It's really, really gorgeous. And on the back, hand-stitched, it has the logo and it says it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. I love this thing. It's done by, um, what's the company's name? It doesn't say. The tag actually has Silence of the Lambs on it, too. I think it's done by, like, Old Glory Merchandise or something. Really, really awesome company, by the way. That's super high quality. It's the warm warmest hoodie I have. I have this shirt, which was an exclusive from Horror Block. You had to subscribe to, like, November 2014s. So I think I did a review of it. This is my Will Graham shirt. Um, most of my shirts are from Shirt Punch. That's the Will Graham one. This one is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive shirt from, I think it was the Brian Fuller panel in either 2012 or 2013, but just says Eat the Rude. I, I managed to buy it off of eBay um, right after the show aired for like 10 bucks. It was before anyone actually watched the show, and now you can't find it anymore. It's another shirt punch shirt, which I love. It happens to be one of my favorite ones. It's just got like, you know body parts and the recipes that Lecter would make with it. Um, another shirt punch Hannibal shirt. This one's just uh, Hannibal sipping wine. This is, and I have this one, which is one of the newer ones. It's Hannibal and Bedelia. Little Rorschach test. And this one's actually a fan made one. I bought it off of, um, I can't remember the website off the top of my head. But uh, I got it a couple, like two, two, two years ago or so, but it's got Hannibal's little smirk from season one. Just as Hannibal. It's my favorite shirt to wear. It's really high quality and it looks really good. So that's the shirts. Now I'm going to move on to, um, oh, oh, also with Horror Block, you got this. It's a little sticker sheet. The Hannibal sticker's actually on my laptop now. <laughs> but um, now I'm going to move on to more official TV show merchandise. Okay, let's get this out. Alright, this is the soundtracks for Season 1, Volume 1, Season 1, Volume 2, Season 2, Volume 1, Season 2, Volume 2. All four soundtracks. And then if you went to San Diego Comic-Con 2014, you were able to pick this up. This is the 2014 Fanable Exclusive soundtrack. Um, it, it actually has several songs that you can't buy anymore. The disc is pretty cool. Um, it's just like a little slip cover. And then this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive um, DVD slip cover for season two, which I adore, but I don't buy the DVD. So it just kind of, it's a neat little thing to have. Um, and then this is the newest edition as of June 4th, 2015. This is my newest edition. This is the Art and Making of Hannibal book. I just bought the plain um, paperback because I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not going to shell out that much money for signatures I already own. Um, so, yeah, it's a really awesome, high quality book. It's all full color. Um, it has, I think it has almost 200 pages. And even though it says it's paperback, I mean, this is very high quality. Like, it does not feel cheap at all. Um, I bought mine on sale from Amazon for like 16 bucks. Go get it. And we're drawing to the end of my physical stuff. Um, I, I got these two at uh, Comic-Con, so this is fan-made. This is uh, a Hannibal Lecter little cameo necklace, which I love and I wear it all the time. And this is my Hannibal bracelet, which everyone hates me for owning because you can't really find it online. But yeah, it's got these little pictures of everybody in the show. And it's really, really awesome. It's really comfortable. Uh, um, I wear it as much as I possibly can. Now, th these I bought over a year ago. Um, this woman on Etsy, she makes these cute little, like, plushy versions of famous characters. It's not just Hannibal, it's other people too. 
But um, the show actually commissioned her to make a ton of Hannibal and Wills once they saw what she'd done. And so she did, and then they actually had Mass and Hugh do a signing, and they signed the little plushes, and I think they gave them away as gifts for, like, the press or something. Um, I actually have pictures of Mass and Hugh signing them, but I ended up buying it off of eBay um, for a price I'm not going to disclose, but it actually was really affordable considering what you got. Um, and it was from someone who was given them. Uh, from some press thing in LA or whatever. But yeah, this is the Hannibal plushie. And on the back, that's Mass's signature. And before you ask me, because everyone's seen the pictures of Mass signing him in his little doctor get up and he's like smoking cigarettes, it didn't smell like cigarettes when I got it, okay? Cigarettes aren't that fucking thick, people. Jesus. And this is the Will Graham plush. And it's signed by Hugh Dempsey. I actually won this script last year during the 13 hour devour on Twitter. It's signed by the entire cast and it's just awesome. It's a script from um, Buffalo Freud. This one is a signed picture personalized from Mass that my friend HW got me at Edmonton Expo. This is my sketch of Moon Man signed by Hannibal Lecter for, used in the show. It's not the actual one, but it's an awesome replica. This is an issue of Deadpool Merc with a Mouth, which is actually a pun on the Silence of the Lambs cover, which I just love. And this is my Mass Mickelson film collection, starting with Pusher at the bottom. It goes all the way through to, as you can see at the top, Paintable Season 2. This is all Region 1, the collection. Remember, tonight, June 4th, 2015, Thursday, 10, 9 Central, NBC, sit your ass in front of the TV and watch Hannibal. Hopefully it'll be good. And uh, I'm going to try and get a video review out sometime, maybe tomorrow, maybe not. We'll see how it goes, see how excited I am. But um, all in all, definitely watch Hannibal. L look, at, look at this adorable cannibal bastard, don't you love him?